Hey, what's going on guys? It's Carl with The Great Outdoors. Uh, I've been working on a project the last two days. I figured I would throw it up, show you guys what's been going on around here in the last two days. I loaded up um, my 14 foot wood shed of split wood, packed full, and I split another three cords, maybe a cord and a half, about two weeks ago and I need somewhere to put it. So I had to make another woodshed. Um, I started it yesterday and I'll show you what I've got done so far. And uh, I'll show you the pile of wood that I got to stack. A um, little quick rundown. Had to uh, scrape the ground about eight inches deep full of root and uh, just junk. It's uh, very soft and thick, so I had to dig that out first. And um, I got the uh, underneath structure done, uh, so let's go take a look. So, we're adding on another 14 feet in length. And it's six foot wide. Just have to have more room, guys. A lot of wood around here that we burn in the wintertime. Um, did a lot of digging past yesterday. That's all I did, honestly. Had to dig out basically this entire area around the tree line to the drive and out. Um, it's just full of this stuff right here, man. It's, soft roots and and garbage it's um really thick here that's what it looked like basically before so luckily enough my neighbor brought his tractor over yesterday and just kind of helped me scrape the surface of it it's been about an hour with the tractor still had to do a lot of work by hand um but we got the uh, the structure done underneath. Got it all leveled, squared off. Uh, I just used deck footers like I did for my entire yurt and my deck. Um, next step is to lay our two by sixes down. That's all I'm going to be able to do probably until spring. Running out of time. And uh, a lot of finances run into a project like this. You're looking at $100 right there just for footers and those 2x6s. Not including all the crush and run that I laid today. Another $250 just for the subfloor of this shed. So I'll stack it once that's done and just tarp it. You know, I'll take the tarp off when we have no rain for a couple days, let it air out, but I can't do a full shed right away. It's gonna cost about 700 bucks. So doing a little bit out of time, but along with the base structure, I added more crush and run. You can see that the old trail stopped basically here. I went and got a ton of uh, crush and run, $30 for a ton, and I filled that in here. Um, I also had to put underneath the footers crush and run. There was a big height difference. Um, I'll show you on the other side a little bit better. And I filled in the crush and run, as you see, like I said, from here all the way around to there. Put some mulching around the trees just to make it a little bit better. Had to rake all this out, clean it up. It was a lot of work. Two days worth. I started about nine o'clock this morning. It's two thirty right now, and I did the same yesterday. So uh, two days worth of work. Uh, saved a lot of money. Didn't have to bring anybody in. So you can see the significant height difference. It's probably almost 
a foot and a half of crush and run there and maybe four inches of crush and run on the other side just to get it level um, I was going to do crush and run underneath as well but I decided just to go a cheaper route so I'm going to lay plastic down just to keep the weeds from popping through the deck um, I'm going to fill this in right here with some nice topsoil and in between those trees right here I'll have some nice flowers and stuff it's gonna be really pretty I plan on lining from these trees to the end of the deck with some um, gosh I don't know what to call them now my mind went blank it's uh, basically like six by sixes and you put them in the ground stack them two or three high I'll level this out with topsoil so I can put some bushes along here. So there'll be bushes here, flowers in here, and then the main trail entrance will be here, obviously. So it'll be close to the yurt. And I also had tons of stacked rounds that I cleared out yesterday as well. So let's take a trip down the lane. And I'll show you where I dumped them and how much other <laughs> how much work it really took. wagon attached to a trailer or well, I call this <laughs> a trailer what the heck my tractor it's really a four-wheeler but it's a great tool we got to have them around here so much work that we do there's one pallet that I dumped there I had four pallets of rounds that I had to clear out before I even started this project and I had to haul out dirt too, so there's a big pile of dirt there, probably about two trailers worth, another two trailers worth, and then these rounds, that's probably about four trailers worth of dirt, and rounds, and rounds, and more rounds, and all that had to be cleared out before I could even start the project. Uh, well, I went down the lane on the side of the uh, property. I didn't want it to be exposed. It's just a place where it could drop off and rot out. It was no good anyway. So, just wanted to show you uh, how much work it actually took. It took this project so far. It's a little shaky and jumpy. I'm on my phone and driving my wheeler with uh, one hand, so. Out of the tree. Take you on a little cruise. Duck underneath the tree. Well, I did this all day yesterday, back and forth. In this mud pits. sometime with my GoPro around my surrounding area it's really nice here we love it I don't even know if you can hear me I hope you can Trying to lock it. Emergency brake. Hold on a second. So, yep, that's what I've been doing for two days. It's going to be exactly the same as the shed here. This one's 16 foot long. 
and the one I'm building now is 14 so two foot shorter this one holds exactly three cords I will almost get three cords in there so between the two you're looking at five and a half about five cords probably sorry for the hoopty ride that's my lovely back and forth work truck this is the wood pile uh, that I've got to transfer over once that uh, platform is done um, it's probably a good four and a half foot high I'd say and almost 14 foot long <laughs> this is a big wood pile it'll be enough to three quarters fill this shed so I'll be happy with it probably could use another cord but um, it will do justice this winter I promise you that so just wanted to give you a heads up on the project that I've been doing the past two days